No one bothered to tell Svetlana Glavash and her mother Ruza that Svetlana's daughter was being sent to Germany. No one in authority bothered to tell them that she'd been killed either. A neighbor who heard about Vedrana's murder on the radio broke the news. This morning, as they got ready to go to the funeral, they said that Vedrana lived at the children's home because they couldn't look after her properly in their tiny, damp flat. They said they loved Vedrana, though. Her grandmother kept one of Svetlana's dolls for her. Vedrana was two and a half, and they went to see her as often as they could. <laughs> She had began to walk. She couldn't talk yet, but she could play with a ball. Svetlana and Ruza had planned to walk to the graveyard with their neighbors, but it's at least two miles from where they live, so with our colleagues from the Reuters news agency, we gave them a lift. When they arrived, they were told that Vedrana had already been buried half an hour early because the graveyard was being shelled by the Serbs. That was bad enough, but it got much worse. More shells started falling. One landed as the boys and girls from Vedrana's children's home arrived with their flowers. As quickly as they could, they dropped them on the graves of Vedrana and the baby boy the sniper also murdered. It was time to go. As the family was leaving, the gunners found their range. <laughs> Ruza Glavash, the grandmother, was hit in the arm. Reporters tried to stop the bleeding. Hurry up! Another shell exploded as she was carried to the car. The doctors said they could save Ruza's arm, but that she might lose the use of it. She tried to tell her daughter that she was all right. Svetlana is educationally subnormal and very dependent on her. <laughs> at least six mortar rounds landed in or around the graveyard. There were two direct hits just at the time that the children's funerals were due to start. The shooting isn't always this accurate, but the place is attacked nearly every day. There's no question that the Serb gunners are targeting the graveyard to kill civilians. It's hard to find people here who believe the denials made by local Serb leaders. Shells have been landing near civilians all day. Bosnian government forces are fighting on all fronts around Sarajevo. They claim to have taken ground to the north. It all went on well into the evening. The human cost, as always here, is considerable. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Sarajevo.